So we'll have a quick we'll tell you and is Joe getting revenge? So, Brand new home. It's the week before Addie's official it's first the weekend. day. Weekend. Weekend before Addie's official first day of school. And we're doing a little school shopping. Mom is not ready for this because she was just my little baby that I was holding my arms, kissing on, barely walking. Now she's about to be independent, going to school. Get the job. I don't think that far ahead. But she started school Monday. Mom's not ready for this. I'm totally. It did. Don't worry. You worry about driving. And that's her school over there. So, um. Are you excited about school, baby? Yeah. <laughs> are you? She's telling me about the playground earlier. What'd she say? She just said she's ready to play at the playground. <laughs> Well, school's a little bit more than just the playground. You have to learn and you have to listen to the teacher and obey your teacher. And but I don't know what, what, what to do. What, 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 what all the kids sit down. Well, she'll tell you what to do. It's going to be a little awkward when you first when you first start, but the teacher will help you, okay? You'll be fine. You want it? Yes, you will. I'm going to go. I'm a little nervous about that. Everybody always leaves mom by herself. But I'm a little nervous about that because she just won't be with me anymore. I'll be on my off days, I'll be literally at home by myself for about six hours. I don't know. A lot of you guys follow, excuse me, a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram. And Justin and I had this big thing about in November, we wanted to start working on having another baby only because we miss the little sounds of pitter patter around the house but my mom's really sick we're trying to look for a different house so we may have to hold out so those are a lot of other things that we're trying to get done before another baby comes in but it was it sounded like a good idea when we first thought about it but now we got so much stuff going on with my family, my mom. Like, my mom is my main concern, and her health is really not good. She's getting older. Um, I just feel like if I get pregnant now, I'd probably be so stressed out that I probably won't be able to carry the baby. But other than that, um, we're just going to wing this thing for the kindergarten with Addie and hold out on having another baby right now but okay we can't see her how do you feel about your baby going to school nervous but it should be fine am i the only one like worried out of my mind about this i feel like i'm the only one like everybody's like oh she's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay the first day of school there are bullies in school they're bossy kids. I was a bossy kid in school. That's gonna happen. Yes, it is. Oh, it's these. So apparently, I'm the mom that picks out the ugly shoes. I like these. Hold the shoes up, Josh. Mom. Excuse me, mom. Yes. I wanna wear these. Hold, hold those up, baby. What? Let me see. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> you can't wear those at school. Why? Because they're going to be uncomfortable. Your feet are going to hurt. No, they're not. Yeah. So, Justin thinks she should wear... What kind of shoes should she wear? This one. And don't point to those because you know those are the ones I wanted to get. The initial shoes that she wanted to get her to get. Oh, it is better than this. should wear her shoes she already got. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Patty. Patty. <laughs> Those are cute. Pretty. I like those. How much are those? You look 
30. Mom, you look like the dwarf machine. I know. Those are, I, don't, I just don't know if she can wear colored shoes like that to school. I think that they are like really no, strict about they it. They didn't say anything about shoes. I'm not the weird mom. I pick out the cool shoes. I'm not the mom that's gonna embarrass the kids. He thinks I am. <laughs> Even though my mama embarrassed the hell out of me with my pro wings that I got. <laughs> I got those pro wings in seventh grade. Yeah, we're trying to <laughs> they light up though. <laughs> so we're in the car once again. Uh, mom got hungry. We just got adding some new kicks for school because you know what's <laughs> she hates her shoes, but I guess I'm going to be that parent to be like, you're going to wear whatever I buy. I'm slowly turning into that mom. She wanted, she wanted Dorothy shoes. You guys know the red slippers to wear on the first day of school. Not in my house. Your kindergarten, you're gonna be running around playing. Those shoes are way too uncomfortable. First pair of shoes she picked out had heels on. Them. Yeah, she, 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 was she thought she was going somewhere fancy because she picked out a pair of shoes with heels. No, ma'am. But I'm so hungry. I want a burger, but then I want some chicken. It's confused. confused. Get a chicken burger. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Yeah, you're slowly turning it to my dad because every time we go somewhere or it's, it's some place that you had a memory at, every single time you tell me about it. Every single time. My dad my dad does that every single time. I think when we drive past your old house. No, when, I've said that like twice. No. We drive past your old house in Winchester. Every single time we pass the airport and we go past the house, you always say, I used to live right there. Uh -huh. And you used to tell me a story about what happened in the house. I've been with you for eight years. What I know. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. the story. It's always a different story, but you always tell me about you living there every single time. You do the same My, thing. I do not. Yes, you do. Do not allow me like that. I do not do that. My dad used to do that. My dad, every, and I'm thinking like my dad had him. Is it amnesia where you forget things or dementia? Amnesia. Either one. Amnesia. I think he had amnesia. He used to tell us every, and we used to be like, Dad, we know. You, you told us already. Are you excited about the story that you told me? I don't even know what you're talking about. But when you telling me the story, you know everything. There's a movie theater right there. Did you know that? Where? I think it's right here. This? Or maybe a little bit further. Not down. The insurance building. No. There's like a... No, not here. It's like a little shopping center. Wake her up, Artie. Tell her she got to get up for her first day of school. Hey! Artie's gonna help me wake her up because we gotta get her up. Get her up, Artie. Tell her, wake up. Hey, baby. You gotta get up. Artemis is helping. You're helping, girl. Thanks. I know. Thanks, girl. Thank you. Addison. First day of school. Hey. Hey. Are you going to see Mimi and Papa? Uh, if we get up in time, we'll go see Mimi and Papa. But we gotta get you ready for your first day of school. Thank you, Artie, for helping. You're awesome. What are you doing? No, Artie's supposed to be helping me get you up. You can't go back to sleep because we gotta start our day. Oh, you're gonna miss your friends. Get up. It's like you're you're waking up for school. Wake up, Judge! It's your first day of school. No, you have to get up. It's your first day of school, right, Dad? 
Artie, you're not helping. Poor cousin, yeah. Arwis. Come here. Come here, Arwis. My joy's turning open. Tell me he Where are you now that I need you? Where are you now? Got up at six, six thirty. No, seven. Got up at seven to get everybody ready. Yeah. Try to get her some breakfast cooked, but she didn't want her breakfast cooked. Go. But. Go. She is super excited about you school. Do some it don't matter. She is super excited about school, right? Yes. Are you gonna be a good girl? You gonna listen to your teacher? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Well, just be yourself. Say, hey, I'm Addie. Right? I wanna show you. I want. I'm Here, let me fix your sleeve. Yeah. Dad, how do you feel about first day of school? Finally. You have some parents like this lady. She's like, get these kids out of here. And then you have me like. But I don't want my baby to leave. Let go. That's that's the park right there. Yeah, that's the park. But before we go to the park, you have to do your schoolwork. Though. Are we gonna walk down there? Okay, go to the park. Hmm? Are we gonna walk down there? Yeah. <laughs> we just dropped the little baby off at school. That's our school behind us. Mom is not too excited about this, but I gotta let her go, right, Dad? Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is not a good feeling at all because well I got her backpack so I'm keeping a little piece of her with me. We're gonna go home. She's gone. She's not under my wing anymore. She's being independent and being a little human. 